My name is Cider from the Summit Bar. This is the John Lee Hooker. We start by misting a frosted beer glass with a smoky scotch. Then we use lemon juice, half ounce. The cinnamon agave. Two ounces of bourbon. And then a little dash of sarsaparilla bitters. Shake that real hard. And then we top it with a double IPA. We strain that back over ice in the beer glass. Give it one more mist of the smoky scotch. Finish with a nice orange zest. And that's the John Lee Hooker, which was inspired by the song, One Bourbon, One Scotch, and One Beer. My name's Jim Meehan. I run PDT in New York City. First, I'm going to pour three quarter ounces of sherry, I prefer loose Dow East India, into my chilled mixing glass. Then I'm gonna pour three quarter ounces of Campari, two ounces of white rum. Next, I'm gonna ice the mixing glass, stir the cocktail. Next, I'm going to strain the drink into a chilled, old-fashioned glass filled with one clear cube. I'm going to garnish the drink with an orange peel. Your East India Negroni. It's a classic anyone can make. My name is Maxwell Burton, and I run Maison Premier in Brooklyn, New York. Today we're going to be making the Frenchman's Roulette. All right, so basically you take all the ingredients and build them right into a mixing glass. So this is two different types of whiskey. We're using Old Overholt and uh, Rittenhouse Rye. Pour some rich, simple syrup. Creole bitters, which is sort of a variation on Peychaud's. Um, give it a good stir, maybe 30 to 40 times. The drink itself is served in a double rocks glass. There's no ice, just a little bit of lemon oil right over the top. It's one of my favorite drinks to make for somebody's looking for something a little bit more interesting than just a simple classic drink.